This video will cover the topic finding the zeros of a quadratic function given its equation. What do you mean by zeros of a quadratic function? The zeros of a quadratic function are the points where the function intersects the axis. Let us consider a coordinate system. Let's say we have a quadratic function which is the curve plotted in blue. The points encircled in green would be the zeros of this quadratic function. How do we find the zeros of a quadratic function? In order to find the zeros of a quadratic function, we will follow three steps. The first step would be to set the quadratic function equal to zero. We set the function equal to zero because we are interested in finding out the specific values of x for which the function intersects the x-axis. Remember that at points the function intersects the x-axis, the value of y would be zero. This is another way of understanding why we equate the function to zero. The next step would be to determine the factors of the quadratic equation. Finally, we equate the individual factors to zero and find the zeros of the quadratic function. Let us take an example. Let us say that we are required to find the zeros of the quadratic function y equals x square plus 3x plus 2. The first step would be to equate the function to zero. Thus, x square plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. The next step would be to determine the factors of the quadratic function. The factors of the quadratic function are x plus 2 and x plus 1. The quadratic function x square plus 3x plus 2 can be expressed as a product of its factors as x plus 2 times x plus 1. Thereby, the equation now becomes x plus 2 times x plus 1 equals 0. When product of two numbers equals 0, either of them have to be 0. Applying the same concept, we get x plus 2 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. From x plus 2 equals 0, we get x equals negative 2. And from x plus 1 equals 0, we get x equals negative 1. Thus, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1 are the zeros of the quadratic function x squared plus 3x plus 2. A great advantage with these problems is that we can verify whether our solutions are right. Consider our solution. We have got x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1 are the zeros of the quadratic function. Thus, according to our solution, if we plug in the values of negative 2 and negative 1 in the quadratic expression for x, we must get 0 because at x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1, the function intersects the x-axis which implies y equals 0 at these points. First, let us plug in x equals negative 2 in the function. We get negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus 2 which equals 4 minus 6 plus 2 which equals 0. Hence, x equals negative 2 is indeed a zero of the quadratic function. Now, let us plug in x equals negative 1. We get negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 2, which equals 1 minus 3 plus 2, which equals 0. Thus, x equals negative 1 is also a zero of the quadratic function. Though it is not mandatory to verify the solution for each problem, it is advisable to spend an extra minute in verifying just to be sure. I understand the concept, but just to be sure, to find the zeros of a quadratic function, given its equation, we first set the equation to zero, since we are interested in determining the zeros of the quadratic functions. Next, we determine the factors of the quadratic expression. Finally, we equate the individual factors to zero in order to find the zeros of the function. Perfect.